Hey guys, uh, as you can see, we're still looking at System Care Antivirus. And I read in the comments of the previous System Care Antivirus video, someone suggested to me that I uh, basically document what would happen if you actually bought a fake antivirus program. And that's kind of interesting. I really haven't tried that. I mean, I've tried putting codes in to bypass some of the like blocking techniques that it uses, but I think it, it's about time that I make a full video dedicated to it. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Anyway, uh, alright, so we got all this crap here. Crapola. We'll click remove. And it says, oh, well, we gotta activate. So we'll go ahead and activate. And there it is. There is your famous payment page. Except this one's a little bit different. This is a two-part payment page where this one is run by System Care Antivirus themselves where they have you register basically email address all of that and then you move on to a secondary payment page and that is who will process your credit card number and then email you your code and I believe and it does make you fill everything out we'll just fill everything out now You can put in anything, really. I mean, you can just put... Oh, and it makes you do international style numbers. Secure purchase. And now it's redirecting to a third-party site that will process credit card information. Uh, it makes it a little bit harder to shut down, but, yeah, you're still giving your credit card information up. That's just not good in any way. I mean, you already have online retailers getting hacked and losing credit card information. This is just bad. But hopefully the page loads so we can see it. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is the final payment form. This is where you'll put in your first and last name, credit card number, your date of expiry. I guess they mean expiration date. Uh, the security code, your email address, and then a CAPTCHA, and you click payment. And then at that point you will receive a code in an email or maybe it's on the next page. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to obviously pay for this. So. What we're going to do is we're going to get a code. Now, where do you get codes? Well, you go to various uh, malware blogs. My personal favorite being xylobox.com. And, of course, that is System Care Antivirus trying to block it. And let's just go ahead and go down to, I believe it's the next page. If it'll let us, come on. Ah, oh, there it is, System Care Antivirus. And he has done a good job of cracking this program. Fantastic. So there's some relevant information, and there's a lot of other cool stuff on this site. So it is worth checking out. So we'll just go ahead and copy this code. This is what you would receive in an email. And I believe all emails would receive the same code anyway. So we'll click remove, activate, click here if you already have an activation code, paste it in like that, then you click activate. And the window has changed from like a pink red to blue. So it says system care antivirus has been registered successfully. Thank you for choosing our product and click OK to clean your PC right now. Warning. We'll get that out of the way so we can see this. And it is scrolling through all of the fake infections, removing them. Here we have infections down here. 27, 26, 25, and so on and so forth. And as we wait on that uh, minor UI thing, they, the registration icon is obviously gone. You still have the same amount of languages, so you don't get anything new there. Um, of course you can disable and enable all of these fake protection things. Oop, 
and it's done. Warning cleaned. Wonderful. So now it is completely, uh, well, it's kind of neutered, really. It's not going to block program access anymore. You can run anything you want, and it's not going to mess with your uh, web browsing, as far as I know. So that's good. But, oh, we also have a link on the desktop for support site. Huh? Huh? Well, site's gone, so it doesn't really help us. And we also can see that in the, uh, whatever this thing is, all programs, start menu, that's what it is. Does that even exist anymore with Windows 8? I don't think it does. Anyway, system care antivirus. We have it here. We have the support site and uninstall. Say what? Yes, uninstall. And it's just the same program with dash u option. Now, will this work on the unregistered version? Well, I'm not really sure. I guess I would have to try it out sometime. But I'm going to assume that it won't. And remember, even though this program is registered and it's not in your way, it's still malicious. So you need to remove it with malwarebytes or something like that. Even using the uninstaller I really would not trust it to do anything that you want it to. So, definitely, if you want to use a code, go ahead and, you know, visit uh, xylobox.com or uh, Siri has a pretty cool blog. Uh, it's not as up to date, but it still has the codes if you want to use that. Just remember that you still have to remove with malwarebytes or something. And if you've actually paid for this program, you know, I'm not saying you're dumb or stupid, but uh, you did get scammed, and you need to take action immediately. So, thank you very much for watching.